So the next thing that you have to think about is how are you going to move animals from one place to another, and that's what we call traffic flow. So traffic flow or traffic flow patterns are the planned movement of people and animals throughout the facility to minimize disease transmission. And the key word there is plan. So everybody should know what the appropriate route of walking through the shelter is. And sometimes that means putting up signs, um, locking doors, forcing people to go perhaps the long way around so that we don't endanger the health of the animals as we move through the facility. And so in general, you want to move from the most susceptible animals to the least susceptible animals. And so that usually means kittens and puppies before adults and healthy animals before sick animals. And we'll take a look at one more video clip of some traffic flow patterns in a shelter. Okay, so I just want to point out a couple things about that video. It starts off great where the animal would come in if it was being brought in from the um, field, and it would come in through that gate that you saw in the beginning, and there was this great intake station set up right there. So as soon as the animal came in, it could get its intake evaluation and intake treatments, which we'll talk about next. Um, and then as you walk down the hall, as the animal would progress through to its holding area, you saw that we walked past all the trash, um, and we also walked past a couple cages with some sick animals. You'll notice that I zoomed in on a cat that was sneezing and had some respiratory disease, and that's where animals were waiting to be evaluated by the veterinarian. So every animal that walked into that shelter walked past all the garbage that was coming out of the shelter and past all the sick animals. So they were bringing in everything that all those other animals and garbage were carrying. They were being exposed to it and bringing it into the rest of the shelter. So that obviously was not a good traffic flow pattern to have. So I encourage you to walk through your shelter the way that an animal would walk through or take a video like that and go back and look at it and see what are the animals being exposed to as soon as they walk in the door that you might not be aware of. Okay, we have another poll question. For shelter employees and volunteers, which traffic flow pattern is the most biosecure? Infirmary to adoption to stray holding, stray holding to nursery to adoption, adoption to stray holding to infirmary, and not applicable. Okay, it looks like 6% said infirmary to adoption to stray holding. 14% said stray holding to nursery to adoption, and then 60% said adoption to stray holding to infirmary, and then 19 said not applicable. Okay, good. So almost everybody got that right. The correct answer was um, the third choice, so moving from adoption to stray holding to infirmary. So remember, you want to go from the healthiest animals to the sickest animals, and so adoption should be, in most cases, healthy animals ready to go out to the public. Stray holding should be healthy animals, but you don't know if they've been exposed to something, so they would become after the adoptable animals. And then infirmary, obviously, is for those animals that you know are sick and are undergoing medical treatment. Okay, 